Greetings. This beauty here, and I do mean beauty, is the Pelican M805 Ocean Swirl. I was very fortunate to get this as a birthday gift from my wife for a recent birthday, and boy, did she did she step up uh, this year. This is just a fantastic pen, absolutely gorgeous. The material on this thing, uh, it's not clear to me that the photography could actually capture how gorgeous the material is, the, sort of the depth of the, the material. Um, it, you really feel like you're looking at sort of an aerial photograph of, of waves in motion when you look at this. It's just great. The, every time the angle on the pen changes, the sort of image changes, and it does vary quite a bit from a very, very dark black with only little flecks of the blue-green to sort of this roaring ocean with lots of the blue-green effect in it. It is a nice sized pen. So here it is compared to a um, Alami Safari and a Pilot Metropolitan. So it's right up there in size and length with these guys. Let's compare it with some other Pelicans just for perspective. So this is an M805. So this is an 800 series Pelican. So it's going to be longer than a uh, 400 series Pelican and it's going to be, um, I'm sorry, longer than a 600 series Pelican and longer still than a 400 series Pelican. If I had a 1000 series Pelican, that would be even longer. Yeah. Um, it's a nice weight. It weighs 30 grams, which is, you know, a good weight, not too light, not too... Um, uh, heavy. There's a decent amount of metal on here. The material itself on the body is mostly in acrylic. Um, there's a little bit of controversy with this pen. So the Pelican artwork that Pelican shows in their advertising shows this pen pretty much with this blue-green ripple wave effect throughout the whole pen. The problem is every pen is different and some pens have more of that than others. Most pens don't have it across the entire pen. So if you see if you rotate this pen, um, you could get it. There is an angle here that you can get where you see actually very little of it and then it sort of comes back into play. Um, I personally really like that. I think that adds a lot of character to the pen. Personally, I think if you had this effect on the entire body of the pen, 360 degrees, I just personally think that'd be a little boring. However, there are people that were expecting that and when they got, and some people got pens that had a lot more of this darker area than they would like. So um, I think there was a lot of people who were sort of a little bit maybe disappointed um, that they didn't have this effect across the entire pen. I personally think it's, think it's the variation is, is, really, is really nice. Um, it is an 805 model Pelican, so it, it, the difference between, say, an 800 and an 805 is the color of the trim. Uh, if it, uh, Pelican um, Sovereign um, M series pens, if they end in a zero as the digit, it's got uh, gold plated trim and rhodium uh, plated trim for a uh, pen ending in a five. So, for example, this pen is a M400, M400. It's got gold plated trim. This is an M805 because it's got rhodium uh, plated trim. That's uh, how it works. And again, this is the Ocean Swirl special edition uh, version. Um, it's got a piston turning knob on the end here. Um, it is a piston filled pen. Um, there is no ink window of any sort on this pen. So you kind of are on your own to judge how much ink is left. Um, but I think an ink window would maybe ruin the aesthetics of this pen a little bit. I mean, maybe they could have worked one in somehow a thin one here, but I'm not so sure. Um, I don't think you want to compromise something that looks just this great. Um, it's got the traditional Pelican, Pelican bill shaped clip. On the cap band, it says Pelican, Sovereign, Germany. Uh, the Sovereign is Pelican sort of branding for this particular line of high-end pens, much like Mont Blanc uses the term Meisterstück for theirs. Um, on the end of the um, finial of the cap, it's got the Pelican logo with the mother Pelican feeding a baby Pelican chick, and it's got the traditional uh, shape of the upper finial that's very evocative of um, uh, associated with Pelican brand pens. So, that is the quite pretty.
pretty outsides of this pen. It does post and post well and solidly and deeply. It's got a, a small-ish section for a pen this size. It's got this nice sort of flare at the end and these threads here are very, very un, uh, unobtrusive. And then it's got an absolutely gorgeous nib with the very attractive Pelican scroll work and logo. It says 18 carat 750 and an F4 fine. It is an 18 carat gold nib and it's got that typical sort of beefy shaped Pelican feed. So that is pretty much what this pen looks like and boy is it a looker this is just this is just one nice looking pen um but pens were meant to write so how does it write we're going to find that out right now if you watched my video from a few months ago where i reviewed the uh, pelican m 200 smoky quartz uh, special edition um, I was complaining about how when I first got it, it really didn't write well at all. Uh, and I was complaining about Pelican's quality control. So you might have got the feeling that I don't like Pelican pens. Well, first of all, nothing could be further from the truth. I have a whole gaggle full of Pelicans, and I even have more than what we're seeing here. Um, secondly, that was the only Pelican I've ever had a problem with. I felt that Pelican uh, should have really stepped up their game and done a better job on quality control for a pen that is at the upper end of the price range for a plastic steel nib pen. Um, this pen, on the other hand, wrote absolutely spectacularly right out of the box and right out of the gate. So um, I would just uh, point that out. So this is an M805 Ocean Swirl edition um, with a uh, 18 carat fine nib now this is a pelican fine which by almost anybody else's standards would be a medium pelican nibs tend to run much much broader uh, german nibs in general tend to run on the broad side and pelican nibs in particular tend to run quite broad so this is this is this is um um broad for a fine this would be a medium um by by in pretty much any other vendors uh any other vendors world and it just is smooth as silk and um just writes absolutely beautifully again not a flexi nib but you can coax a smidgen of variation out of it but i would not push that very much on a high-end pen like this um it just writes great i mean everything you can imagine in terms of uh, what you would expect at a pen at this price point um, you're getting with this and that's the way it should be and that was my whole point with the other pelican pen again that pelican pen costs a fraction of what this one costs but it's still at the high end for what it is um this is a special edition pen with an 18 karat gold nib i don't expect a hundred dollar pen with a steel nib to function the same way but i do expect it to write like a hundred dollar pen which the other pelican did not and this one absolutely did not disappoint in any in any way shape or form so great pen it writes as good as it looks i guess we could we can say that and given that it looks as good as it does that is really saying something so that's about it for this beauty of a pen let's talk about this ink a little bit this is pelican four thousand one turquoise um 4001 is Pelican's sort of standard line of inks as opposed to the Edelstein, which is their high-end line of inks. These Pelican sort of standard inks um, are a little bit under the radar as far as I'm concerned in the fountain pen community. These are great, great inks that are quite reasonably priced. Um, so um, check these out. They don't, have a, they don't come in a ton of colors. They come in, you know, your normal basic colors, a turquoise, a blue, a green, a red, a black. Um, a couple others but not that's a, and a brown a couple others not 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 a huge color selection doesn't sort of cover the whole 
gamut of colors that you might want, but it is a, these are really, really nice inks. Again, a little bit uh, under the radar and underrated from what I can tell you. They don't get discussed very much, but they're nice. They're well behaved inks, don't bleed through. And just look how great this looks. It's just a great color. Maybe a little light for some people's taste, um, but I like it a lot and it obviously goes fantastic with this, um, with this, great, uh, with this great pen. So I like this uh, turquoise uh, um, quite a bit. Um, the only issue you may have with this is it might be a tiny bit light for your use, depending on um, what your tastes and requirements are. But other than that, I just think it's a great, great looking, really pretty looking ink that um, really complements this pen well and pairs well with it. So I think that will do it for this video. As always, I thank you so very, very much for watching. If you liked it, please, please subscribe. Don't just wait around hoping you'll stumble across one of my videos. Click that little subscribe button and you will know as soon as I post them. And I promise I will not post them so frequently that it becomes annoying. That is my promise to you. So please subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for improvement, I'd love to hear them. And until next time, bye-bye.